do it. Chapter 24, part 3. Now, um, Julian S. Augustus promised his soldiers 100 denarii each as a reward for their good service, and when they expressed contempt for so small a gift, he recalls to them in their senses in this temperate address. Okay, so here's the address. Postia Dei, the next day, following day, on Quam, on which um, Hake acted, rent, these things had been enacted or done, so they after this will be done, preferred, so carried, ad imperator to the emperor, um, kibos per otium capientem, he's present participle, he's taking some food in his leisure time, so what comes to him, Anuntius, Anuntius Gravis, a messenger with some grave news, it looks like, Surinam, who is the Duke Am, a general of the Persicums, of the Persians, uh, Pro Cursatorum Partis Nostra Tres Termas. So it looks like here we have three squadrons, Tres Squadrons, are uh, part of our Procursors. These are the Pro means they run in front, so they're scouts. Um, this guy, Serenam, he had in Opinum unexpectedly aggressum. He had attacked uh, three squadrons of our scouting party, it looks like. And Trucadasi, cut down, were Porcissimus, which is the superlative form, meaning very few of them of these three um, scouts have been actually killed. But Interquos, amongst these, Strato, cut down or laid low, cut down, was Unum One, one tribunum uh, had been strated. So a tribune had been, uh, you can tell from that, it's a different case than the Un. The Unum actually goes with the Vexillum, which is a standard. So uh, one tribune had been cut down and the Vexillum and the standard had been Rapawisay, taken away. So two, Stardvanqui. And immediately, Concitus, so is excited, stirred up by an ablative, Ira in mane, or it could be in mane if you like another variant of it. Uh, it just means monstrous or large. So he was, he was stirred up by a large anger. And with Kum Menu, with a handful or a band of Armageras, armed men, vest the nation itself to Tismus. Um, his most safest thing, uh, to superlative, was in the haste itself or the speed itself and he pervolved it he basically flew to the grassator buses uh, grassators are bandits um, and they were depulsed they were repelled into flight in a photo consternation uh, there's some sort of foul consternation or confusion um, the residuos duos tribunus they are all opposition so the remaining two tribunes one of them had been stratoed up there, been killed. Um, he absolved or he solved it, loosened them from their sacrament, from their oath that they took to the military. So I guess they were sacked as they were decides and ignavos. Decides means lazy, ignavos means cowardly. Decem vire milites. Vire is like but or moreover, but ten milites, ten soldiers, exes, from this group. Um, they were... What were they called? Those, uh, the, the ones that went in front, wherever the hell they were. Uh, Procursors, yeah, this group, and it was three squadrons of them. Ten uh, soldiers from this lot, who, qui fugerent, who had fled. They were ex octoritos. Again, that means they were sacked. Uh, well, they'd, militarily wise, they'd uh, dishonorably discharged or something, you might want to said, and addicts it. And to add to this, uh, capitalized supplica, there was a capital punishment, so I'm guessing they w were killed. Uh, secutus means following veteres legs, uh, in accordance with or following ancient law. Incensa, that goes together, Danaqui, so finally the herb was incensed, was burned down as memoratum, as told before. Here we have insto, it takes the dative, so it's a present participle, so it Standing on the constructed tribunal, um, should I change some of these commas here? I think, uh, which were actus gratus exercitui, another dative, which were made to gratify the army, which had been convocated, called together in a group, 
um, Kunktos ad paria fakienda de inceps hortibus. So we encourage Kunktos, all of them, to fakienda paria to do an equal thing, which would be kill 10 people, I guess. Uh, de inceps means in turn, in future, when the same thing happens again. And agentos numos, kentos. So 100 numoses of silver coins. Uh, Viratum, one of the Tim family of adverbs. Man by man, he gave each of them 100 which I said in the introduction, was polycatus, was promised. And kumeos, when these, uh, promisi, promised, um, the parvitato, the, the smallness of this number, um, this persited, this excited, senses it, he had, it sensed that this had excited to a tolmatori, uh, some riotous or very unhappy soldiers since they were only getting 100 coins, and ad indignationem, um, to this indignation, he was plenam gravitas, so he was full of gravitas at this indignation, and erectus, so standing up, and he's about to speak. For an inquit, behold, he said, Perse, these are Persians, they are circumfluenting, so they're flowing around with rerum omnium copius, with all types of copia, all sorts of resources, these Persians, um, these opimas, these very riches, are potterit, they are able to detare vos, to enrich you, uh, or the optima is gentis, the uh, riches of this nation or race is able to enrich you, si un, looks like if as one, spirentibus animus fortita fecimus, if we make ourselves one, fortita as an adverb, bravely, Spirantibus animus. Uh, it's like sometimes it's breathing and sighing, but it looks like if they've got a brave sort of heart and spiritus, um, we shall be enriched. Eximensis opibus. From, from immense resources, or opes, uh, egentimus. Uh, the superlative for very needy or wanting or poverty-ish. Um, tandem, at last, so credite, b believe me, he's saying, and it's the plural form of imperative. So, believe me, the Romana Republic, so the, the Roman Republic, from these huge, immense resources, is now in very much of a need. Per eos, through those people, qui who, as they augurent divitius, as they increase their riches, they dock werunt, they teach, uh, princes, princes is in English, or the leaders, or I create a barbarous redemptor, so redira comes from docio doc, takes the infinitive, so they should buy their quiet or their rest with uh, gold, or a redempted, or taken, or accepted, given by barbarous, or by the barbarians, so the Roman people are now in great need for these people who want to increase their wealth and are teaching the princes that they should uh, buy their peace from um, taking gold from barbarians. So we'll have a daily dictionary, radio, radiri, which we just saw in the infinitive, to fall back on or revert to. So they'd reverted to uh, trying to get gold from barbarians. Impetitum aerarium s. So the aerariums, the treasury, has been impeted. It's been attacked. The herbs, which are cities, have been Exinantate, which means life has been taken out of the cities, so there's been killings or they've been driven off. And the provinciae, these are provinces, have been populate. In later times it means it's been depopulated, in early times it means it's been ravished and laid waste to. Mihi, to me, nec faculties, neither are the faculties or means, nor the pro Pring, pro, this is one of my favourite words, I just can't pronounce long words, propinquitus generis sapetit, nor so this is the people who are near him by birth or in his family, so he doesn't have like family connections to sapetit to help him, quam vis, although autus sim, a little subjunctive, although I've arose from nobilis, from a noble family, so he doesn't have the faculties to help or blood relatives, even though he's from a noble birth, besides his pectus, which would be poetically meaning his heart, literally means his chest. Omne liberum, so his pectus is liberum, pectus being his heart, it's free from omni metu, from all fear. Nec pudibit, we've got a little future there. 
Neither will it shame an imperator, an emperor, cuncta bona in enemy coltu. We'll take this in with a coltu, it's a ablative. So in the culture of his mind or in his training of his mind, cuncta bona, all the good. So the emperor's not shamed that all of his good is in his training of his mind. Uh, Profitero means he's confessing. Ponentem pauperatum honestum. So he has an honest poverty. Uh, so he doesn't have trouble professing that he places. Um, no shame in having all the goods in, in the way his mind has been cultured, trained. Uh, nam et. For also, fabrici familiar, the fab fabrici, who are they in English? Yeah, they're the fabrici in English as well. The fabrici family. Uh, re pauperas rex are bella gravismus. So they were in their ray, which is their means or their, their wealth, they were paupers, um, and yet Rex Ray, they controlled a Bella Gravismus, the most, most serious war. It's another superlative. And they were Locupolites, they were very rich in Gloria, which is glory. Haec vobus cuncta poterat abundere. So these things, Haec vobus to you, cuncta all. So poterat means uh, they're able to, so you're all able to be abundant in uh, all of these things. C, on a condition, if, I might just work an M there, if in pateriti, so if you're unterrified, or not scared, uh, Dio miqui, something that if ablative of me and God. And this looks like it's uh, blocked off in uh, brackets. Quantum humana ratio patitor. Uh, as much as human reasoning patios allows, um, corte adverb so it means cautiously ducante. So here we've got we've got dio and mio ducante. With men, God leading. Uh, if you're unterrified, as much as it's humanly possible, cautiously should you should egeritus. You should follow out this mitiously. Uh, cautiously again, but we've already had cautious, so it's just. Uh, Follow him reasonably or whatever. You want to use Mitius mildly. Sin. It's if, and NE is usually means at the beginning of a sentence there's a question. You see Plautus and other people, and again here it's just the N. Uh, but if, resist us. If you resist, can't see any datives. Um, to seditionem. Uh, sedition, we have that in English. And revoluti, revolution. De decora means this dishonor. Pristinarum of your former time. So if you resist and you want to go add to your seditions of formal revolutions dishonorably, then pergite. It's a imperative plural. Uh, continue on then if you want to resist me. It's a challenge. Ut imperatum decet, as is befitting to an emperor or, or to, that's impersonal. Ego solus, I alone, confecto, having completed. Tentorum munerum cursu, e, having completed the course, these go together, uh, of such munerum, of, of such of my duty, I've completed the course, in moria, I shall die, stando gerund, by standing, contemptuous, it's the second type of future, I will be uh, spurning or having contempt, um, animum in his mind, uh, which, me to me, Una febricula, one little fever, can he rip it, my soul from me, basically. So that's what he rip it's doing there. So he says, I've completed the course of my life. I shall die standing in contempt. Uh, if one little fever can take this from me. So he's obviously going to be brave and he's going to stand endo alone. He, he's willing to fight by himself. And we're done for the day. Ort certe, or certainly, discidem, I shall leave, I shall be off. Nec enim, for neither... Ita ut, we've got correlatives. Well, neither have I lived. Ita ut, e, thus, so ut that. Uh, so remember how your correlatives work. For neither have I lived, so that non possim. I'm not able. Uh, ut takes a subjunctive. I'm not possible to um, aliquendo, privatus. So I can't do something else uh, as a private citizen. So he has, has lived, so uh, the neck there is the negative. So he's lived so that he can uh, go and do something else if he decides to discate him, if he decides to leave off. Pray queen me. Pray is a uh, 
One of these words here could mean in front of or because of or compared to, but it looks like because um, there's Pharaoh and Lator. So he will bear and be happy for himself, it looks like. That SA means to, to be ductors spectatissimos, spectatissimos, another superlative, that he has very splendid uh, generals. Um, nobus cum, with us. Perfectos bellicarum omne genere doctrinums. So they are perfect or made complete in all types of doctrine. Um, bellicarum, of war. So he's saying he might lead off and become a private citizen because he bears and he's happy to that he has such a spectacular, spectacular, <laughs> spectacular or great leaders who um, know all types of warcraft, basically. So that's the end of it for the day.